I think of all the steps that we have to go <laughs> down and then up again. How many is there? Oh, here, four, here. Yeah, no, I reckon about 110, 120. What do we cave here? Yeah. I don't think I go right through, but I think I just go in there. So these steps, let's see how many there is, right? I'm going to guess that I'm going to say there's about 120. What do you think? I say 90. 90, okay. So we're going to count them, folks, and uh, see, okay? I'll get back to you. All right. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Shout over if you catch us a fish for supper. Wonder if the people in the castle did that. Yeah, it's funny how you can see that house from here. Get an even better view of the waterfall. See it? Uh huh. And there's a path looking down. You can see a lot of people standing up there. Let me have a look and see. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this this castle here is one of the one of the few on the north coast that that um, there's not many people can get down to this point here, and I think a lot of the coaches can't get down the main road, so it's it's not as well known as some of the other castles. That's what I like about it. It's it's secluded, and you always get the place to yourself almost. There's a few people today because we're we're close to Easter and everybody's out doing day trips, and the weather's not too bad, and. Um, but I've done lots of night photographs here and daytime photographs. I've been coming here for 20 years and it, it never ceases to amaze me. Beautiful. We'll go up onto this wee hill here. We're not going to go onto the top. So we'll go up onto this wee hill and have a look around. That must be another part of it. Yep. There's a map of the whole thing down there. The castle was built by Cola. Cola or Cola? Cola MacDonald in 1547. And it has stood on this spot for almost 500 years. Suffered damage from the elements. Don't we know because it's really windy up there, blown ahead of you. Some parts have fallen into the sea. Here, here's yeah, what it would have looked like. Gap, look. Yeah. It's amazing what it would have looked like. So we're just standing on the other side of this. There's only this piece here, uh -huh. and a wee bit of this wall. A wee piece of this wall here is still there. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, not as big as Don Luis Castle, but it's impressive enough. I've always called it Kinban Castle. Now, some guy told me that's how you pronounce it. Like Straban. Some people may say Kinban, but I stand to be corrected, but I was always told it's Kinban, as in Straban. <laughs> curtains up. Yeah. It'd be wild, wouldn't it? That's all like. 
is the view they would have had. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, they come back towards Bally Castle, fur head. And across the left to Rathlin. Tony, what's that? This here is, there would have been a winch on here. That's you see where these two posts are? Yeah. They've only just taken it away recently. Um, it was a winch for nets, salmon nets or fishing nets. But I, I have some lovely photographs of this with this. The, the winch was here. They must have taken it away to, to renovate it or I don't know. As long as you didn't take this beam away. Um, they must have hung the nets or winched the boats out of the water or something like that. It's very similar to the ones you see down in um, Carica Reed and all around there. I thought it was a diving board. You're ready? Dave off there, Tony. Look, you can actually see fur head through the gap there, do you see it? Yeah. What'd you find? Found some wee treasures, look. See? Okay. I'm fixing them. Yeah. They're male, aren't they? This is a wee bit of artwork I just did there. I'm expressing my grief mm -hmm. today because my sister's wee dog was sadly put to sleep this morning. So all the kids are high in their emotions. So I just thought I would do something in Roxy's memory, which is they are, and a wee kiss here because she was so well loved and we're offering her our heart sight to Rosaline and her family. And it's a heart shaped stone. Yeah. But, but very appropriate because it's, it's on a rock. The whole thing's on a rock. She's going to be solely, so sadly missed. And I'll have to give her a wee kiss. So this is Kinban Head. You probably worked out this Kinban Castle, Kinban Head, same place. And uh, one of our favourite places to come. And we come here two or three times a year and spend a lot of time staying in the car park coming down here and doing night photography down here in the night sky and a bit of wildlife photography here as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never get fed up with coming here. It's such a quiet place and I think it's because there's, there's not as many tourists and coaches. Not that there's anything wrong with tourists, but when it becomes a bit overrun, sometimes you can't get into the place. And you can't um, get to see it properly. Yes, can't get to see it properly. There is a wee coffee shop up there now, which is great. So I like my coffee, I like my cappuccino. So it's nice to have that. So um, we're going to go up now and have a cappuccino here and put our feet up and just see what the night sky brings tonight. And um, Maybe we'll see a couple of wee otters again. Remember yeah. down here? Last time we were here, we've seen a couple of otters scurrying around the rocks down there. And I only had a nighttime camera with me. It was a wide angle, so I couldn't have photographed them. But... Uh, that was great to see yeah. So you spotted them, aren't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. And we've seen otters up at Bolly Castle, Pan Rocks as well. So, Kamban Head, definitely a place to see. And um, as you see on the way down, be prepared for the 135 steps down. But more importantly, be prepared for the 135 steps back up again. Yes, save some energy. It's my face. There you go. I'm going to carry her back up now. See you later. I'm getting on his back. See you at the top. <laughs> Right, go for it. Do you want to race me to the top? Uh, hang on. 